I hope you won't take this as anything other than a compliment to say that you are the Bond I grew up with. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so to me, you are the definitive James Bond. Why is he such a kind of incredibly iconic character? Because I think he's the 20th century uh, mythical hero mm -hmm. with different ladies, mm -hmm. wonderful occasions and big explosions in fantastic uh, stunts, wonderful cars, great gadgets. You were approached to play James Bond, but there were still question marks about whether you should do it or not. Well, the question marks whether I could do it. <laughs> Cubby and Harry, the producers, were, were friends of mine. When we did the deal, they then said, but Harry thinks you're a little overweight. And Cubby thinks your hair's too long. And so I kept trimming my hair, kept dieting, kept running, kept exercising like mad. They really wanted a trim figure. You have a nasty habit of surviving. Well, you know what they say about the fittest? And you actually say, uh, I could hardly act. Uh, people watching you thought you were terrific, but do you find that people say there was a lot of acting going on in the eyebrows? Is that something that sort of persists and frustrates you? <laughs> it's my own fault. I ridiculously said one day, yes, my acting ability is limited to three expressions, left eyebrow up, right eyebrow up, both up together. And it stuck with me. Well, you just raised your eyebrows. <laughs> I, I can only raise both eyebrows. I can't raise I, one. I bet or you the can other. raise one. Yes, you did. You're, you're doing it perfectly. There are questions that people will always want to know the answers to. Who was the best Bond? Other than yourself, of course. Uh, well, obviously, Sean's the best Bond. Uh, but I think that Daniel Craig could well become the best Bond. He's also stronger than I am which is why I say it, otherwise he... <laughs> the Bond films have got grittier, haven't they? But I think audiences of Bond films might have been a little bit taken aback by. But I think the audiences of Bond films also go and see Bourne identities in those films, and those films are gritty. And so all the time there is that one film is mimicking the other. There are so many stunts in your films, and you have identified one of the most notable, where you ski off a cliff in The Spy Who Loved Me. It wasn't you, of course, skiing off. Wasn't it? What was the worst thing that went wrong on set? The worst, uh, for me, most painful, was in The Spy Who Loved Me, Kurt Jurgens is sitting at the end of a table. The audience know that he is going to shoot a missile up this spout at me. There was a chair between us, but I, like an idiot, said to the director, I think the suspense would be greater if I were actually sitting in the chair, Lewis, don't you? He said, yes, dear, you sit in the chair. And I was... Not, I didn't throw myself out there, I was blown out of the chair with a lot of material still stuck to me, burning away. Where did it hit you? In the bottom. The key! The key! Try the big one. There's lots of things about Bond which he, it would suggest that he wouldn't be a terribly good spy. Oh, no, of course he wouldn't be a terribly good spy, which is why I played him the way I did. <laughs> who, who can believe a spy who's known by every barman in the world and every girl in the world? Oh, you want a martini shake and not stir. And you say he's known by every barman around the world because of his cocktail order. But you say that you never actually ordered that cocktail. I never did, no. And that was deliberately done by Guy Hamilton, who directed my first Live and Let Die. And he didn't want me to say anything that was really associated with Sean. The only thing, of course, was my name is Bond, 
And I was, I was petrified that it would come up, my name is Bond, James Bond, but... Were you afraid <laughs> I, you were going to say it like yes, that? Yes, I started concentrating. No, no, it's like, <laughs> So say, go on, say it your way. Not the Sean Connery. Uh, my name is Bond. James Bond. <laughs> How does that grab you? It's absolutely lovely to meet you. Thank it's you. It's a real pleasure. Thank you, my pleasure. It's nice to meet you, not in my bedroom. <laughs> well, I see you most every morning on my television screen. I'm going to say thank you.